Hey guys, what's up? Natalie here coming at you with this dramatic cranberry cut crease and full face beatdown. If you want to learn how to get this look, then just grab your makeup, grab your brushes, and let's get started. We're going to start priming our eyes using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Couture Palette in the color Soft Peach, we'll be setting the primer and this will help a lot with the blending process. Taking a fluffy blending brush, I will be dipping into Bone Beige by MAC and warming up the crease. Using the same exact brush, we can dip into Cupcake by Makeup Geek and place it just below Bone Beige. This will help start the transition from lighter to darker in the crease. This time around with a more tapered blending brush, we're going to dip it right into Bit in by Makeup Geek and place that right under Cupcake. With this, you want to go in a little at a time. You do not want to look like a splotchy mess. Now taking our fluffy brush again and cupcake, we're going to blend it out. Now repeat the process with soft peach and blend it all out. Now with a tiny tapered blending brush, dip into bit in and intensify that crease. You want to drag the color out and make a wing shape also. Now back with our fluffy brush, we're going to take Cupcake and blend out the edges again. Using an angled liner brush, we're going to dip into Fudge from the Anastasia Couture Palette and start to cut our crease. To get rid of the harsh lines, we're going to take Fudge again on the small tapered blending brush. And here I took the same brush into Bitten and blended that out. Though I do recommend using a clean brush because this brought a darker overall look. Here I tried to correct that using Cupcake with the fluffy brush on the edges. Going into the Smashbox on the Rocks palette, I'm just taking the white shade and highlighting my brow bone while trying to blend out the look as well. Using the fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out some more using the white shade. Now comes the fun part, using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm in the color NW25. We're going to start to cut our crease out. And if you made any boo-boos, you can fix them right up using that small tapered brush. Taking Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Grand Stand, we're going to place that on the lid using a flat synthetic brush. This will bring a lot of warmth to the look and bedazzle, of course. To get the most pigmentation, use your fingers. Now taking ColourPop Nailionaire, we're really going to get this glitter party started. Oh yeah, check that out. I'd like to move on to my face before I finish the rest of my eyes. 
first, let me prime using my Baby Skin Primer. I love this primer because it helps even out all of my texture and it makes my face feel like a baby's butt. Now we can jump into foundation using my Maybelline Fit Me. I'm in the color 228 Soft Tan. I'm going to be blending that out using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This makes blending your foundation out super easy. To set that bomb as highlight, we're going to be taking the Real Techniques Setting Brush and the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Pressed Finishing Powder. That's a mouthful. I like this one because it's very good for photography. And to save on time, I'm taking this fluffy brush to finish setting the rest of the highlighted areas on my face. And now I'm super excited because it was the first time I got to use the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Oh yeah! The palette also comes with this little brush which I tried out and just didn't really like for contouring. I did find out later that it's awesome to clean up the line under the contour though. Lucky for me I have this gem, this tapered blending face brush from Morphe. I'm going to be taking the color medium contour again to blend it out. Typically with contouring you want to angle the line per se from the top of your ear towards the corner of your mouth but stop halfway through. That's a whole nother video though. I'm also going to be taking that onto my temples and connecting it in the middle because mama's got a big forehead. I'm also going to blend that out with the light contour. It's like a transition shade for freaking contouring. Then I wanted to brighten my under eye using the yellow highlight and the beige highlight under the eyes. With a dual fiber blending brush, I'm going to be taking medium contour along the nose, under the nose, and cutting it right above the ball to create a button nose. And now I'm going to be taking my sponge to clean up my contour. And yes, it's time to highlight with this fan brush from Morphe and the J Cat's Big Shadow in Triple Crown. I'm going to be taking the top two shades, swirling it, and bringing some life back into my face. Yes. Don't be afraid to go as subtle or as bright as your little heart's desire. Naturally, for more pigmentation, I went in with my finger to the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. I try not to get it into the contour where I try to make myself get a button nose because that kind of counteracts the whole thing. Don't forget the tops of them brows though. To tie in the whole look, we're going to finish the bottom of the eye and we're going to be taking mostly this whole row. Bitten, Cocoa Bear, Mocha, and Karat. With a small dome fluffy brush, we're going to take a mixture of Mocha and Cocoa Bear right under the lower lash line. Then using this angled liner brush, we're going to be smudging Mocha right underneath the lower lash line. Now blending it out with the Dome Fluffy brush with no additional product. Now we can go back in with the same liner brush and corrupt and really basically outline the eye. And finally we're going to be taking Bitten with that Dome brush, 
and adding a hint of cranberry to really tie in the whole look. Now for eyeliner, I'll be taking the Tarte double-sided angled liner. Little cool thing, super easy, and my Makeup Geek Immortal gel liner. I like to make sure that the lash line is nice and symmetrical first and also as thin as possible before I go right into my wing and I just bring it right back to fill in the gap. Oh yeah, liner. Now for a little bit of fine tuning here and there. And the eyes are done. Just kidding, we're going to take pink champagne for dope ass inner corner highlight. Look at that! And now for eyebrows using the Anastasia number no. 12 brush and the dip brow pomade in dark brown. I'm going to be carving out the brows underneath and on the top where they are very sparse. From there, I kind of just brush it out go on to the tail and eventually fill in the arch more. I'm not going to be adding any more product and I'm moving towards the front, really just fading it out. To seal all of our hard work in place, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just brushing my hairs up and then going back and adding a little bit more. I am such a perfectionist when it comes to my brows. For a really clean outline and perfect looking brows, we can go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm using a color that's very close to my skin tone so that it doesn't look crazy. Uh, if you're curious, I'm in the color NW25. And it's lipstick time with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Midi. I'm going to be placing that all over the lips. And soon you can see it really washes me out. <laughs> To bring the finishing back into my lips, I'm going to be using Peekaboo from NYX. And I'm just going to do a little bit of an ombre effect on the edges and lightly line the tops. Using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, we're going to lock all of that in. That is when it starts working. <laughs> and I almost forgot lashes. You can either put falsies on or coat up those bad boys. Here I'm using the Maybelline Falsies. This is the waterproof and I like to go in with this old the rocket I believe it's called to really separate the lashes and get rid of any clumpiness and that is it you guys if you like this look then please subscribe to my channel like and share as always thank you for watching